So in the previous episode we created uh, content type and then we created some fields for it and using views we displayed uh, that content type and several of those fields via views. So in this episode I'm going to show you how you can display those fields uh, in your theme on the single pages of uh, your content type. So we created a content type called movies so when someone clicks on a single movie we want to display those fields also. So I'm going to show you how you can do that in this episode. If we go to the movies link right now you can see the stuff we did in the previous episode. So we created a view that is displaying our movies and all but the inception movie are generated by devil module. Okay. So what I want to do now is I want to see what happens when I click on that movie. In the view, when we created views, we added the title and title was automat automatically linked to the movie that it's supposed to represent. So if I click Inception, you can see that it takes us to the node 9. Okay, and as you can see, it's all well and good. We actually have our fields right here, we have the body text, we have the title. But what if I wanted to display director and actor before this body text? What then? So what I would do is I would just open up my developer tools and then I would go actually I would just select this and as you can see the fields are displayed through endemian templates field field dot html dot week so you can uh, so you can edit the html output of the field right there or you can add some new fields but we are not currently interested in that we are actually interested in if we go up a little bit we are interested in node so we are displaying a node right here remember i i told you many times during these tutorials everything every type of content that you see displayed on your site is called a node so of course we have a template for that node and also what you have to understand is this node is displaying in actually it's displaying in uh, page.html.twig so templates layout page.html.twig if I go to page.html.twig uh, the node would be displayed right here so the content of the node is displayed right here okay so just so you understand that all of this around this body and these fields is actually a page but this right here is a node so we want to select that node and see what are our theme options so uh, as of right now this node is being outputted from the uh, template called endymion templates content node.html.wig but of course Drupal gives us some suggestions for this so let's say that I want this node just for the movies if you use node.html.wig every type of content would be using that uh, that template and we don't want that in our case we want special node to uh, display our movies so we are going to use this suggestion right here node-movies.html.wig so I'm just going to create it right here node-movies.html.wig Okay, so we have that node created. I created, the, created it in the root of my theme. And if I go here and just write, I don't know, h1 test. Okay, save it. If I refresh it, nothing will happen probably because we didn't clear the cache. So we have to go to configuration. Okay, we are already here. Performance sorry performance and then clear all caches
and now the Drupal is using node dash dash movies dot html twig to display this content right here and as you can see we just get this test of course you can go to I don't know templates and uh, where is it coming from from the probably layout not layout mm, content and then node so you can also copy this file rename it to be put it in your uh, theme root and rename it to be node dash dash html twig and use it like this but I just created totally empty node for the movies and we get right here of course we'll th we still get the title uh, because the title is displayed in our page it's not displayed in the node okay so let's display uh, some fields right now as you will see it is very easy so we just go here and I will just do I don't know add a div called description uh, actually director okay and just do this right here no okay and then we do content and then we do the field name so if we go to structure and then content types and then we go to manage fields for movies we can see the machine names of our fields so for the director it will be field underscore director so we just copy this paste it right here save it and if we go right here refresh the page we get director Christopher Nolan okay so I'm just going to do a BR tag right here BR it doesn't work for some reason tab so BR BR okay let's do actors and same as before content and then it's called field actors okay and if we save that refresh it it didn't show up for some reason content and now we get actors right here also we can display the body so we just do I don't know another set of BR tags BR BR and let's say a div called movie description okay and just do content body save it refresh it and as you can see we get the body of our actually the description of our movie okay so let's say that you don't want to display this director right here for some reason or actors what you can do you can just go right here and you can just go to the director and click on edit uh, no uh, manage display you can click manage display and for the director you can set the label to be hidden or visually hidden or in line so I'm just going to say hidden for the director save it okay if we go to our page right now and refresh it you will see that the director is gone it just says Christopher Nolan you can also do the same thing for actors as you can see for the body the uh, label for the body is already hidden of course if you wanted to add some a bit more control to the, all of this you can just go let's put director above so that we have director displayed 
So let's say we want this director to be in a strong tag. As you can see, uh, right here we displayed just the content of that field. We didn't display the label. But how can we uh, now style or output this director a bit differently? So if we just open our developer tools, click right here, you can see that the output is going from templates field field.html.twig and if we go to that file so templates field field.html.twig we can see that there are some options right here there are actually uh, a lot of conditionals so if the label is hidden then don't show the label and so on we just have to find the right one for us so I think this one would be uh, for us and we can just check that if we just do write this so as you can see I just added some text right here and uh, after the label we get this SDSDFD so this is the part we want so I can just go right here and do I don't know strong Okay, refresh it. Actually, it refreshes itself. And if we check out this right here, you can see that the director is currently in strong tags. So, but we don't have any any CSS for strong. So I can just go to I don't know globals. Dot scss. Do something like. director strong and then do font weight bold save it and now it's bold if you can see it or we can even make it uh, to be the size of 24 and you can see it a little bit better right now okay so the next thing uh, actually we are not going to do anything else but I just want to draw your attention that you can uh, style this field field if you want it so like we did right here but if you want it to be more precise you can use one of these themed suggestions so you can do field string because this field is a type of string you can do especially for this field so field field director so actually if you see right here the actors also have this strong uh, HTML tag right here but it's not showing up because we did it in our CSS only for director we can also do something like this actually so we're just going to do uh, what did we call this one actors actors and do strong for actors and for uh, director. Okay, if we save it like this, now we have the director and actors. So everything in Drupal is controlled, actually, all of the display for Drupal is controlled via these kinds of tags. So as you can see, you can make a special template just for actors or a special template just for directors and so on. You can make special template field for all the fields on the node called movies as you can see here so field dash dash node movies okay so that's it for this episode in the next episode we are continuing with all of this and we are going to be talking about images so as you can see right here we have a movie poster field but we still didn't uh, fill it with anything so in the next episode we are going to talk a little bit more about images and how you can resize them, crop them and so on in Drupal 8. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, that's it for this episode. Please follow me on Twitter or on Facebook. Like this video if you like it. Subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of videos. Also uh, that's actually it <laughs> yeah like the videos or subscribe to the channel uh, thanks for watching once again and I'll see you in the next one